History will be made in a few hours when U.S. President Donald Trump sits down for a face-to-face -face talk with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. This summit comes after a very tense standoff between those two nations, one with nuclear consequences, which is why Israel especially is anxious to see what tomorrow's outcome will be. ILTV's Brett Allen Smith is here with more on this. So, Brett, what exactly is at stake for Israel in these talks? Well, obviously the comparison here applies to the current situation with the Iran and the fate of the JCPOA uh, nuclear deal. So I'll explain it like this, okay? So from Israel's point of view, this could be a big win if Trump walks away with even moderate success. So first, it's widely believed that North Korean intel is the biggest sponsor of Iran's nuclear program. And the same goes for Syria's nuclear efforts, by the way. So if Trump can put a plug in that, Israel walks away with a big win there. And the second biggest issue is ballistic missiles. Now, right now, North Korea has tested ballistic missiles capable of reaching basically any square inch of the continental United States. If Trump can convince Kim to halt those tests, which is very possible considering that those missiles are, you know, already done, that's an example that Israel will want to apply to the existing deal with Iran, which does not include specific caps on ballistic missiles or that program right now. Some believe that the fact that this summit is actually happening at all is a big win for right. Israel. Netanyahu lobby, lobbied, obviously, hardly right. uh, against the JCPOA, saying that it wouldn't be enough to deter Iran's nuclear program. But economic sanctions have seemingly at least brought North Korea mm -hmm. to the table. Is that a fair comparison? Well, there's a couple of key differences here to keep in mind. So for one, let's remember that those economic sanctions against North Korea, and that's instance, were not just from the U.S., far from it, actually. In the end, it was really Chinese sanctions that finally broke the camel's back. And China, by the way, is still a signee on the current Iran nuclear deal in its current form. But here's the other thing. By the time that Kim announced that he was willing to negotiate, North Korea was already able to develop successfully a nuclear warhead, which is a mm -hmm. big, big negotiating position ahead of this summit coming up when Israel would likely not want to replicate with Iran. But it, the Iran deal actually impacts this whole thing in another way. Now that President Trump has withdrawn from the JCPOA, that sends a very mixed message to Kim Jong-un on America's reliability. Right. And Iran has actually spoken to North Korea, warning that Trump is good for one thing only, quitting agreements, not sticking to them. Well, President Trump is in Singapore as we speak, preparing for the historic summit with yeah. Kim. Obviously, the next 24 hours will be very, very telling, yeah. and I'm sure we'll have much more to talk about soon. Thanks for joining us, Britt. Of course.